Okay. So that's in Wolf Spider. To restart. Yeah, no, I just need some shifting. That's not too bad, that's not too bad. Um, I know it, it so currently looks a little bit weird. The reason it looks a bit weird is that it doesn't have any legs, right? The legs are going to be sort of a major component to the whole what spider looks like. So let's try to do this next. Spider legs, spider legs. So to do those, we need to include them in a bunch of things. We need to include them in the wolf spider look and feel. Okay, so we called those bits of the atomy left leg one, two, three, four, and so on. Left leg one. Now Something that actually probably needs doing in other places as well is going to make this, this a bit taller because I actually want the rotational center of them to be kind of there-ish. Yeah, okay. Let's try that. 815. It's going to be all the left legs. It's going to look like that. All the right legs. It's going to be that, but flipped. Seems to be a lot of spam on the channel now. Uh, that's a new thing. I wonder if that's something you can uh, fix, but it really seems like uh, it's just complete gibberish um, usernames turning up, posting spam and vanishing again. Yeah. Leg three and leg four. Okay, so now we've got the legs in our look. I need to put them in, in the actual logic from where they are. So. Now, if we hit reload, yeah, we have a whole bunch of badly positioned legs. Awesome! Let's position them correctly. So, so I guess the legs are arranged front to back. Um, 
they're going to be overlapping pretty heavily because this is a straight front on view all of the feet are going to be all of the y coordinates are going to be the same so i'm really just going to do a kind of gentle sweep of different x coordinates which will just end up looking like a marsh for now so left leg one let's get the y coordinates somewhere sensible for starters Yeah, it's pretty good. X coordinates. Even minus one. There. So two is minus two. Three is minus three. And four is minus two point five, say. Yeah, nice start. Uh, let's do the right legs as well. And actually, I think they need to go down a bit after all, minus 12, maybe. Otherwise, the palps are nearly dragging the ground, which is a bit odd. Oh, well, wrong direction. Okay, recent, decent first flush, right legs. Yeah, that looks right. Woohoo! Okay. Here's a spider. It currently still looks stupid. Okay, but, but, you know. It looks like a, some kind of weird mixing between a TIE fighter and a spider. Um, now, how do we fix this? Well, so one thing we can do just from a static view point of view is... Um, let's just look at the picture again. Okay, I think they need to be further out. It's one thing. And then we can also give them slightly different rotations. We're in the ones which are further away should be more vertical, I think. So something like that. Um, okay, so let's try this with the left ones. Huh? Left leg, minus 10, minus 11.5. Let's just spread them out far too much. Minus 13. Yeah. Minus two, minus three point five, minus five, and minus four or something. Um, Spike asks uh, right on a specific Java library or Scratch. Um, now this stuff is based on Slick Two D, um, which is a Java library. Java 2D library. It's actually no longer on the development. So if you want to do something like this, I would suggest to use libgdx, which is pretty similar. Um, this one. Um, but I don't really, I don't really use it for very much. I pretty much just use it for like talking to OpenGL and having it slightly easier to just say like draw this picture here, draw this picture there. Um, Frankly, I'm halfway to just using OpenGL directly. Well, directly, I still use LWJGL, of course, which are the Java bindings to OpenGL, because not doing that would be crazy. Um, yeah, but there's no like heavyweight engine underlying any of this. 
Okay, so now we have some slight separation of legginess. Mostly because I made a typo. Okay, so now we want to actually rotate them, rotate them a bit, which I think is Yeah. <laughs> okay, spider, spider, um, dance now. So that's probably a bit much. Um, maybe a bit much. Zero point five. Yeah, at least that much. Zero point six. Uh, move them down a little bit. Not more. Um. Hey, lo and behold, it's starting to look a little bit like a spider. Um, so the next one, uh, we don't rotate quite as much. Let me set it to my point three. Maybe something like that. Yeah, we like 0.2. That would be the next one. Then the one after that. Set to 0 0.1, I guess. So the one we're going to pull in more. Okay, it's better at still complete smoosh, right? Um, let's take leg three. Make it essentially horizontal and move it out a little more. Yeah. Let's take leg one and move it more radically to the right. Hmm. Turns out that getting off these legs have kind of separate positionings is really hard. Who knew? Let's just work on leg one. Need a picture of a spider from front, yeah, like that. Actually, from front, 
Okay, so uh, yeah, yeah. the core problem just is that the legs are not the same size, and hallucinating that the legs should be the same size is what makes everything difficult. Um, so we need to make it, give it differently sized legs. Um, yeah, that's that's our solution, I think. Otherwise, insanity reigns. But yeah, so the way this really should look like is that we've got two woo, spiders. We've got two almost vertical legs here, then two relatively vertical ones here, and then out here, it's really far more flat. You can try that with the like existing ones, but it will probably look wrong. Okay, so just temporarily going to move all of the left legs except for the first one. It's some crazy coordinate that makes them disappear. Right. Here we go. Well, this leg should be almost horizontal, uh, vertical, like that. And it should be pretty close to the spider, but not quite as close as to overlap its palps. So I think that's almost right now, but we want to move it just slightly to the left. Okay, more. Okay, that can be leg one. Then leg two, according to this image, is further out, it's rotated significantly more. So, yeah, probably like that. Let's see where that is. It's actually not too bad, but it needs to be rotated more than that, sign says. Yeah, like that, and also anchored further out. There we go, it needs to be a bit further down. There we go. With, unsurprisingly, it's almost impossible to have an image of a spider actually directly from front because um, it's a hard perspective to, to actually throw a spider from. Okay, I think part of the problem is that we have this artificial barrier here. Um, okay, we're going to change something here. We're going to make the magnification of the big drawing just a bit, a little bit less magnified, yeah? Um, let's just make it a factor of seven, say. Because then we'll no longer have this feeling that our spider's about to. And then add a little bit more space there. Yep. Yep. There. Now our spider's no longer almost crashing into the side. Nice. Yeah, I think we're getting somewhere now with the spider anatomy concept. So the next leg is like really quite rotated. So like, um, like that or something. Yeah, even more. Oh, these numbers here, these rotation numbers, but are in radians, just like, you know, meaningless pretty much. Um, it's probably pretty good. I'd anchor it further out, and also it needs to go significantly down so it actually touches the ground. Now, see, that now feels like it's too wide. So. So what? Well, if we if we lie and cheat, and like make this one much less rotated, move it further up again, further out. Well, it's very similar to the other one. 
Um, I want to move it so that its foot is kind of in between the... Actually, I'm going to say this is left leg four, left leg three. It's going to be further out and perfectly straight. Mm -hmm. Okay, ah, of course, because I drew the. Clever David, draw the spider legs already slanted and then not bad um, okay I do think I'll have to go over this a bit in practice yeah the legs aren't actually like the legs are both too long and too short <laughs> Um, for this to really work properly, properly, um, but, oh well. So, um, we're not quite going to get there because I've just used up another hour here, but you can kind of see how we're starting to get towards Spidermus. Uh, last thing which I'm going to do, just to show you that it's possible, is if we just quickly get rid of all of those right legs for now. The right leg to spider um, is we can then actually animate this whole thing as well a bit. There we go. Mild spider moving. Um, but we actually want this to be. Um, what does that look like again? Um, animation bundle that key is C W and C H.
Yeah. So it's not just moving, it's a little spider leg a little bit. If we put this in everywhere, but also do different offsets. And indeed, slightly different periods. See, so now you can see it's all moving its little legs, slightly different uh, kind of speeds. It's starting to look a lot more kind of a uh, little spidery. You can do the same with its eyes, which I think should just move up and down very slowly. So just make that. Don't move horizontally, do move vertically. Slowly move up and down. Why they are moving in this weird kind of jumpy way, I don't know. Something to investigate. I think something's being uh, cast to integers when it shouldn't be cast to integers. <laughs> Naughty. Yeah, it looks like it. Maybe. A bit odd. In a bath. And then the palps. Um, the palps should move quite rapidly. No, 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 I made a mistake. I forgot the car. Yeah. Because the problem just seems to be that the render is weirdly stuck on integer offsets here.
course, the pubs like wave back and forth as well. And really, it's that which I should be doing. At high speeds. And less in sync. More in anti sync, actually. I'm using the offset, which should be the off. Uh, yeah. So these are none of these are doing anything because I named them wrong. So it's again. Yeah, there we go. Uh, it's starting to look kind of spidery. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave you guys here for now. Uh, the next steps with our little spider are going to be um, giving it different length legs, uh, continuing on its adventure of getting the all the little animation bits correct for the standing, checking out what's going on with uh, this here where it's like rounding things too much, I think, maybe. Don't know. Um, yeah. But yeah, you can see basically um, this this guy right is being used is being drawn in exactly the same um, with exactly the same engine as this guy, which is really nice. So that's that's that definitely well achieved. Okay, um, that is all for now. I have done a quite nice double episode here. Um, I will be back next on Monday with Game Talk, when I will play some kind of game and talk about it. Um, you know, I, I my, my approach to naming things is very direct, in case you haven't noticed. So yeah, thank you for watching and listening. Um, if you have any feedback, please do leave it in the chat as usual. And I will see you quite soon.